Talking to people you don't know is gonna make you more successful. Here's why. So something I learned over the last couple of years of my life is that I've always allowed myself to just talk to anyone and everyone there is to be talked to. Smiling at everyone, interacting with the person in the grocery store, saying like, oh, I really like those nice shoes you have on, or hey, those are really cool. Or even if you overhear a conversation, right? Join in, laugh about it, just talk. Remember that we're human. And I think that people kind of forget like, you're allowed to have conversation with anyone. You're allowed to just interact with people. And a lot of the times when you do this, you'll be surprised how often people are craving human connection. People want to talk to people. And obviously sometimes if somebody has their headphones on, have some common sense, right? Just don't go up to some random person and be like, hey, how are you? And give all this extra energy that they're probably not asking for. But a lot of the times people are looking for conversation. They just don't know what to say first. People just don't know what to say or just aren't the most social people naturally. So this is where you can step in, right? Be a little more social, be confident, be like, hey, how are you? Nice to meet you. Hey, I really like those shoes. And you don't even have to compliment them. You can, again, talk about the conversation they were having. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's really interesting. I just actually had something happen to me like that too recently, so you're not alone. See how that worked? Again, you're interacting, you're having a conversation. And one of the times that I've noticed this really worked for me was when I was at university. When I was at university, I decided every single day I'm gonna talk to someone new. And I was thinking in my head like, you know what? Every single day, I'm gonna try to see if I can meet a new person, someone I have not talked to before. And I didn't go to the largest school. So to me, I was like, by the end of it all, I should probably meet every single person on campus. But I obviously didn't. You don't meet every single last person, but I did a pretty good job to talk to literally everyone I could. I remember working at the front desk of the gym and I remember every single person that came in, I'd say hello, greet them, you know, do my job talk to people like hey how are you hey you always come every time and stay what do you do you do play basketball oh it's really cool oh you play when you're younger oh yeah i played on the team and you start having this conversation so the next time they come in they say hi they're excited to see you they're happy they got to see a familiar face and then in doing so i started getting a lot more opportunities in my life where just because i was conversating with so many different types of people things started happening for me where hey he's like hey by the way you said you were a finance major right i'm like yeah yeah actually there's a guy i know who has a job opportunity for an internship i want to connect you guys and then boom now i have a connection to potentially get an internship and it was really interesting because that's kind of how it works in life right 70 percent or more of jobs aren't gotten through job boards or linkedin or indeed they're gotten through the networking the connections so understand that it'll make you more successful if you just allow yourself to communicate with more than one person just your close-knit circle is not going to do much for you but allowing yourself to talk to so many different types of people boom that's how you're going to get it done and i remember being at that same front desk i remember talking to one of my closest friends there at the time and it was a guy who came in to play ping pong and i remember after my shift I'd go play ping pong with him. And he became a huge inspiration in my life because of the fact that interacting with him, talking to him, hearing his life stories, the things that he was sharing with me, the things I would share with him and his wisdom and his knowledge. And to this day, he's someone that really holds like a piece of my heart where it's like, he really taught me a lot about myself and about believing in myself no matter what. And it kind of showed me that if someone that you overlook, you know, someone just comes in really slow walking, older gentleman, but no one's really talking to him, interacting with him. And he really valued our relationship. And I'll always remember that relationship because of the fact that it all started because I just went out of my way to make sure he was welcome. I talked to him and in turn, it changed my life. So you never know how your life's gonna change unless you go out there and try to talk to people that you meet. Something I wanna ask you is how many times have you talked to the person that's taking out your trash? How do you treat your waiters and waitresses? How do you talk to people at the cashier? If people around you that are doing things for you, do you actually have a conversation? How many times does someone call you on the phone and you, you're calling the customer service and you're saying, hey, how are you? How are you doing today actually? Oh, I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Sometimes when I say it, people are surprised because all people do on customer service is call them to complain and get their problem fixed. But they don't realize that they're talking to a human being. So again, have a little bit of decency, understand who you're talking to, how you're talking to people. And in turn, you'll realize that your life is gonna become better because you're gonna meet more people, conversate with people. That good energy you're putting out into the world is only gonna come back to you. And the last story I'll tell personally is one of my friends, her name is Shaq. She has an amazing woman and I would literally talk to her all the time and she'd be the person behind the counter. And I'd be like, hey, could you hook me up today? Could you put a little bit of this sauce, a little bit of that sauce? And I would be the only person who would get it done that way. And the reason why is because I asked for it. I was respectful, I was kind. I was always there entertaining her, laughing, talking. So she hooked me up. And there were times where at Friday, 2 p.m., 4 p.m. when they closed, there'd be leftover stuff that they have to throw out anyways. And she'd be like, hey, do you wanna grab anything before I throw it out or get rid of it? 
I'd be like, give me the box. I'm here. I'll give it to a bunch of friends Friday night. We'll all hang out together anyways. So she was so kind to me because I was kind to her. And it generated a relationship. Another form of this is, again, talking to people behind the counter. And people would always be like, I love just seeing you because I know you're going to talk to me. You're going to have a friendly conversation. You're going to be positive. You're going to be genuine. And even when I see that you're having a bad day, you share that. You're so vulnerable with it. And again, this is about being a good listener and being a good communicator. And in doing so, it allowed me to be even more successful in life because of the fact that I interacted with so many different types of personalities, so many different types of people. And in doing so, it allowed that next level of success to come. So the ways to get this done and the way to understand this is first and foremost, understand that this builds your network. Building your network is so important. We all know your net worth is your network. So grow that network. Be confident. Go talk to that person that, hey, who knows what kind of opportunity can come from it? And hey, who knows what kind of person they are? Or what you'll learn out of it from yourself when you talk to this new person. Some of the craziest opportunities people get in this world is from those unexpected conversations. So don't be afraid, go do that. Another thing that this helps is again, building that confidence and not fearing rejection or fearing a, a worry for some conversation. Talk to that person, who knows? Maybe you fall flat on your face. I fall flat on my face many times in conversations, but those all taught me a lesson. It taught me the types of people to talk to, the types of people maybe not to talk to. Maybe handling a different way, going at it with a different energy, a different vibe, right? You have to learn about this stuff because again, that's what builds your practical intelligence, your social skills. And these are really important skills to become successful at anything. Even when it comes down to people who have companies or businesses, a lot of the times when people invest or want to be a part of a team or support a content creator or whatever it is, they're not just supporting them for the factual knowledge they're giving, but they're Supporting them for the personality, supporting them for how the person makes them feel, for the kind of person they are. It's not just about the facts. It's not just about this. It's about believing in the person. Even when it comes to business and companies, sometimes they're not investing just in the company's idea, but the person behind the company idea. So always remember that. All in all, be sure to go out of your way and just try to meet someone new every day. That's a challenge that I'll give out to you. And I want to know what you guys think. And please leave comments down below of if you just tried it for a week. I want to know what you guys thought and what you learned in the week of just talking to every single new person that you see. Just think about it. One new person a day. It doesn't seem crazy. And especially if you're in high school or in college, utilize this network opportunity where there's so many like-minded people. You're going to find your clique. You're going to find a circle of people. Just be sure to go after it and trust yourself and just be yourself. You don't have to be anyone else because when you are who you are and you attract the people like you, that's how you're going to be the happiest in life. And that's how you're going to succeed in this world. Thank you guys again for tuning in to another episode. Again, please leave comments down below. Be sure to like, subscribe, share it to all your friends. I'm really looking forward to dropping another episode next week. I'm really excited for it. I really appreciate the love, the support. You know, it's been a long time coming. I've been doing this for a while now, and it's just really awesome to get to talk to you guys and share a little bit about myself. Because again, sometimes you tend to think, how do I find my like-minded people? And it's, hey, communicating and trying to reach just one new person every day. I'll see you next time.